Hello dear students, welcome to 8th standard geography, lesson number 4, hydrosphere. In the previous video lessons, you have learned the first three lessons. Our earth, then lithosphere, atmosphere. All these lessons we have discussed in the previous video lessons. Now we shall discuss hydrosphere. This lesson will be discussed in two different parts. This part will give you the meaning of hydrosphere and the continental relief features. Chapter number four. Hydrosphere Part 1 In this chapter, you learn the different kinds of water bodies, structure of ocean bed, ocean currents, their types and conservation of oceans. And you know how to mark oceans, gulf, bay and strait on Indian map. I show you various pictures and you can learn them easily. Welcome to the lesson number four, hydrosphere. Let us know about distribution of water bodies. Dear students, you know very well, this earth is called blue planet or watery planet. It's mainly because 71% of the total area of the earth is covered by water. That means 361 million square kilometer of the earth is covered by water. Therefore, it is called watery planet because it looks blue from the space. It is also called blue planet. Because of water, the life sustains, the life exists on this earth. Let us know about the major water bodies of the world. In this world, we have major Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Arctic Ocean. All these are the major water bodies of the world. What is ocean? Let us know the definition of it. Oceans are deep and large area of land is covered by water and they are commonly found between continents. For example, Pacific Ocean, Indian Ocean, Atlantic Ocean. You know very well, Pacific Ocean is between America and Asian continent. Atlantic Ocean is found between American continent and European continent. Dear students, these continents are surrounded by vast amount of water that is ocean let us know about sea what is sea a sea is a part of the ocean extended or projected far inland for example arabian sea the caspian sea the red sea so, Caspian Sea, Red Sea, Arabian Sea are the examples. Sea is a part of the ocean extended. So, sea is a part of ocean, but it is ex extended up to the land. Deep inside the land too. Now, let us know Gulf. What is Gulf? Gulf is a part of an ocean or sea. It can be part of ocean or sea that has penetrated deep into the land. If you see India's map, you can find 
Gulf of Kutch, Gulf of Kambat, where the water has penetrated deep inside the land. For example, Gulf of Mannar in South India, Persian Gulf, Gulf of Mexico, etc. Dear students, you can find many number of gulfs here. Gulf of Kutch and Gulf of Kambat are in India. Gulf of Mannar too. Likewise, in this world map, you can find many number of gulf. Gulf means the narrow stretch of water entered deep inside the land. And it's a part of sea or ocean. Now let us see what is bay. Bays are small semicircular water bodies. For example, Bay of Bengal. The Bay of Bengal, Bay of Biscay, Bay of Fundy, Hudson Bay. Bays are semicircular. Semicircular water body. What is straight? Straight is a narrow strip of water body joining two large water bodies. For example, Pox Strait in India. This Pox Strait connects Indian Ocean and Bay of Bengal. So, Strait is a narrow strip of water body joining two large water bodies. Example, Strait of Gibraltar, Bering Strait. You can find out many number of straits here on the world map. Isthmus. Isthmus is a narrow stretch of land mass joining two large land masses. You find it in American continent. So a la narrow stretch of land is connecting Northern America and Southern American continents. You can find out Isthmus here. So a small stretch of land connecting Southern continent and northern southern continent of America with northern continent of America. Now let us see relief of the ocean floor. Dear students, we can find many relief features on the earth. Say for example, mountains, plains, valleys, deltas. Right? So many relief features are found on the surface of the land. Likewise, even underwater, you will find various type of relief features. The sea or ocean floor also has various features like relief features on the surface of the earth. The division of ocean floor is shown here. For example, Continental shelf, continental slope, the deep sea plain, the ocean deep. These are the division of ocean floor. If you move in the sea or ocean, first you will come across continental shelf. Then as you proceed inside the water body, you will come across continental slope. Then you have deep sea plain followed by the ocean deep. So this is the picture given in your textbook. Dear students, see the left side you have a land and as you move inside the water body, you will get first continental shelf. Initially you will get sand, then as you move further, you come to the area of continental shelf. Then you have continental slope, then continental deep, then continental plain, right? Even continental mounts also seen. Now let us see one by one. Continental shelf. This is the shallow area along the sea coast. This part is bordered by the sea coast 
on one side and the continental slope on the other side. That means continental shelf is found between continental slope and sea coast. The average depth of the continental shelf is 100 fathoms. One fathom is equal to 6 feet. The depth of the sea in this region gradually increases towards the continental slope. Our fishermen find this area suitable to catch fish. It is also useful for aquaculture, navigation and extraction of minerals. Now let us know about continental slope. This is the second part of the ocean floor and it's very steep. It is a link between the continental shelf and the deep sea plain. The deep sea plain. Deep sea plain is the vast plain found at the bottom of the sea floor. It's also known as abyssal plain. And in this region, you have sea mounts and goyotes are found. Ocean deep is the fourth part of ocean floor. The ocean deeps are also called ocean trenches. The deepest ocean deep is Challenger Deep of Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean near Philippine Islands. The depth of this Challenger Deep is 11,033 meters deep. It is the deepest point of the oceans. There are many ocean deeps in the world. The other deeps are Tonga Trench, Kurail Trench and in the Pacific Ocean. Now let us move on to the next topic of the lesson, temperature and salinity of the ocean water. Sea or ocean water temperature varies according to latitudes and the depth of the ocean floor. The temperature of the wa ocean water near the equator is more because of vertical rays of sun. Vertical rays of sun increases the temperature of the surrounding. So obviously, temperature of water body near the equator is high. But near the Arctic and Antarctic circles, the temperature of water body is low, very low. With the increase in depth, the temperature of ocean water decreases. As you go deeper inside, the temperature also decreases because the rays of the sun cannot penetrate. It is because the sunlight can penetrate into the ocean only up to the depth of 200 meters. Further below, the rays of sun won't reach. Therefore, you will have severe cold inside. Within this depth, various marine organisms are found in large numbers. After knowing the temperature of the water body, let us know about salinity. What is salinity? Salinity is nothing but the percentage of salts dissolved in sea or ocean water. The average salinity of ocean water is 35 ppt, that is parts per thousand or 35 grams per every thousand grams. The salinity of sea or ocean varies from place to place. For example, if we test the salinity of ocean or sea nearer the equator, it is definitely a moderate one compared to tropical area, that is storage zone. If you move on towards Arctic or Antarctic, the salinity content comes down. 
The salinity of ocean water is very high near the tropics and it is very low near the poles. It is because huge amount of rainfall on the land carries many particles, particularly salt content of the soil and this salt content of the soil gets dissolved in the rainwater and joins the ocean or sea through the water bodies that is river. Therefore, salt content in the tropics are high compared to poles. So the salt content near the tropical area is high. At the equatorial region, the salinity is average due to high evaporation and precipitation. Due to high temperature, every afternoon you will have convectional rainfall. It is because of that salt content is moderate or average. The ocean water has three types of movements. Dear students, now we shall know ocean currents. They are waves, currents and tides. Ocean currents are the regular movements of ocean water from one region to another at a great speed under the water body, under the ocean. So, they move at a great speed under the water and they are of two types that is warm currents and cold currents. Warm currents and cold currents are of two types of ocean currents. Now let us know about warm currents. Warm currents originate and flow from equatorial region to subpolar region. So warm currents move from equatorial region to subpolar regions. This is the first feature of warm current. But cold currents move from polar regions. They start, they originate in polar regions and flow towards equatorial region. They are cold current. Because of cold temperature in the polar regions, they move from polar regions to equatorial region. Dear students, these are the examples given in your textbook. Various currents are listed. The currents of North Pacific Ocean, South Pacific Ocean, North Atlantic Ocean and South Atlantic Ocean and later Indian Ocean currents are also mentioned. These are all the various ocean currents. You find them in your textbook and take the world map physical world map and locate them. Hope you will do that as an activity. In the next video lesson, I teach you ocean currents types, conservation of oceans and location of various currents. I wish you all the best dear students. Keep watching SP Source Online. In the next video lesson, I teach you the next or remaining topics of the same lesson. All the best, dear students. Thank you.